What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marina, and I want to make a really quick video on scuba mentorships. This is something that I believe dearly in, and even as a scuba instructor, I still have several scuba mentors that I can go to if I need advice, maybe if I need help on how to train a, a particular type of student, if you will, or if I need help with gear configurations, anything like that, I have several mentors that I can actually go to for advice, and I would encourage you to seek out your own mentor. Well, I want to introduce you to one of my mentors this this gentleman I talk to at least three four days a week and a lot of you guys will ask me a question on YouTube and it may take me a day or two to answer your question and the reason it is is if I don't know the answer I'll actually go to this person for um, you know advice on how to answer it. and then of course I give you guys the answer but I want to introduce you to him we call him instructor shark bait he's a super nice guy and I, and I really think that you guys can learn from him so let me let me introduce you to him guys this is our instructor shark bay here and i'm here to talk to you about different types of gear configurations now i am considered an expert because this is my own this is my third week at scuba diving now throughout the years i have seen different types of mounts such as back mount and side mount they're two common ones to do and um now i've seen some women such as diagonal mount where they take one tank and throw it under the arm and then uh, i've seen upside down mount where they turn the tank backwards upside down and then uh they they, they some people wear this thing called suit dry where they take a tank and flip it upside down and attach it to it and it's supposed to make it dry i really don't know how it works and then uh we got the uh horizontal mount i mean i don't i don't even know how to explain that it's difficult and them are the main types of stuff that i've seen throughout the years guys now all of the stuff that we just talked about, all the different types of mounts and different types of configurations that's out there for your scuba gear, it it doesn't really make a difference to me as long as bubbles are coming out of here and not here, you know what I mean? Alright, now let's talk about some hoses. Now some guys got real long black hoses and some got really big short black hoses. But again guys, it don't make any difference to me, alright? Just as long as I'm getting some bubbles. Now we're going to be talking about three different types of masks that usually people uh, usually dive with, right? Um, you got the little Google eyes that only cover your eyes, right? And then you got uh, the traditional mask that only cover your eyes and your nose. And then there's something new coming out nowadays that uh, it's mask full face, I guess. I guess it's for those people who are just ashamed of their face. It's just so sad. And, oh, yeah. And then there's um, a full snorkeling, full mask, full face. I call them shallow water breathing goggles. It's, I guess it's for those people who just want to pretend to dive, just pretend to be divers. Now, guys, we're going to be talking about um, fins. And I think, I'm pretty sure my old buddy, Instructor T-Roy, I take his name, and uh, he done did a video on fa on uh, some fins. And so if you click here, here, and probably here or down here, it'll be somewhere in there. Just search up T-Roy and you'll find it. Yeah. All right, guys, I hope you learned something today from old instructor Shark Bay here. Now, I know Brian, you guys know Brian, and he looks up to me as a mentor. And I hope you guys learned something from me today and how to set up your own personal gear. And as always, guys, remember, the number one in, in rule of scuba diving is make sure bubbles are coming out of here and not out of the rear, if you know what I mean. So there you go, guys. Instructor Sharpbait has been a great mentor for me over the years. And, and like I said, I'm on year number 30 as a, as a diver um, and about year you know 15 as a, as a scuba professional. And, and I'm telling you, you need to have a scuba mentor. I really hope and pray that you can find somebody as, as educated and, and has, ha has that drive and passion as Instructor Sharkbait did. And, and I, he really took me under his wing, and I really appreciate everything that he has done for me. But, guys, if you've got a mentor out there, give him a call and just tell him thank you for everything he's ever done for you. Uh, if you like this video, do me two favors. Share this video with your friends uh, and definitely hit that like button. It means so much to me when I see those likes come through. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.
Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.